Hunter Biden raising the stakes on his addiction. The first son now says that he sees his sobriety as the key to keeping Donald Trump from winning the White House again. Here's what he told Axios, quote, I often do think of the profound consequences of failure here. I have something much bigger than even myself at stake. We are in the middle of a fight for the future of democracy. The liberal media praising Hunter's noble efforts to defeat Trump as a relapse would be very bad for the Biden campaign. I think it, uh, it would give anyone pause because I think he is very concerned about uh, his dad's political future. And that's really the reason why we didn't hear much from Hunter Biden uh, the first two years, which is something that Eugene wrote about, which is, and really, Hunter essentially changed strategy when he hired Abby Lowell. And he really changed strategy after the plea deal unraveled last July um, and basically said that this is now a political fight. Uh, this seems like, a, I don't know. Probably the right step, right? Stay sober so dad can win the presidency again, right, Jesse? Well, I mean, he's already relapsed. That wasn't Joe's cocaine in the White House they found. It's PR. Uh, Trump has to be defeated or I'll be back on crack. Come on. Hunter Biden is a guy who was born on third base. Not only does he think he hit a triple, he thinks he's the victim of Republicans, of Russians, of addiction. Remember, Sandra, this is a 50-year-old man for eight years raided his children's 529s, sex trafficked, hit the pipe, took videos of sex acts, posted them on the Internet, dodged the IRS, took bribes and diamonds from the Chinese, laundered money. Come on. And now he's saying he's not responsible for his actions? But, I mean, this is what the left says. The left says everyone's a victim. No one's responsible for their actions. It's the system that's unfair. And if you put Democrats in charge of the system, they'll make everything OK. You have to suffer consequences for your actions. And if you don't, the entire country is harmed. Uh, Judge, then again, a slip by Hunter would weigh heavily on uh, his dad's reelection bid. Well, I think Hunter knows that. I, I think that he understands his being sober has some relevance. It will have some relevance. So he doesn't want to, you know, harm his father's brand. That's number one. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, he needs his father to win because he doesn't want any pesky attorney general from the Department of Justice kind of looking at where all this foreign money has come from and what it was being used for. And and, you know, he blows away his own defense all the time. He says, you know, he confirms that he's been sober since June of 2019, except that he applied for the pistol permit and lied on it in 2018. So, you know, there isn't much that this guy does that isn't contradicted by the facts. And it's really, and it really is irrelevant whether he can fight it or not. The truth is, he lied on that one segment, section that said, have you ever uh, been addicted to drugs? And he said no. And that's a lie and everybody knows it. Look, he's had a business organization that is based upon access to his father. There are even individuals who are now saying his father considered going on a board of a company that was connected to a Chinese Communist Party. Uh, and, you know, he's now moving to dismiss the tax charges, saying it's a six-year, get this, it's a six-year record of changing, charging decisions where they responded to the Republicans. No, it's six years where they ran out the statute of limitations and then were when they got caught with their pants down with a deal that the Department of Justice had never made before, ever, a judge called them on it and they had to start all over. I'm tired of his being a victim because he's he is more than that. He is the protagonist. Greg, does the future of democracy depend on Hunter Biden staying sober? God, I hope not. Mm. We'll be screwed. I think he's he might be more concerned about his future <laughs> if his dad loses, because I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think he's a great painter. So I don't think that's where his career is going to go. He is right on one thing. He's no help to anyone when he's using. But it, he should probably be saying that about his wife and kids as opposed to the country. Because yeah. that's a bit narcissistic. It's a bit egotistical. Uh, you know, he, you should probably be more concerned about the people that, like, have relied on you and that who you've betrayed. But let's take him at his word, you know. Uh, you know. He says, you know, he's, he, we know he's been using for decades. So let's say he quits. Well, his brain's going to change. And he thinks that perhaps the sobriety, the sobriety will help him beat Trump. What if when he's sober, he realizes in this new reality that his 
dad shouldn't be president. And for his, for his sake in the country, he should not even run. Uh, you know, reality takes a different take, takes a different shape when you're sober. Will he be honest about it? Um, Harold, I, I'll ask you a similar question. Is this, is this, you know, dependent on the future of democracy, him staying sober? And is he perhaps making the case that his struggle is more difficult than others? He's responded to that criticism saying, no, but it's undeniable that his recent path to sobriety has been unique. So I'd say a couple of things to, to your question. First, uh, I, I always think that families and kids, uh, having grown up in politics, should never be a part of the political discussion. If someone breaks the law, that's one thing you treat them. If you want to accuse them of that, it's one thing. But these kinds of things I, I wish were not in the public vote, too. Um, I think it's hard. Uh, I'm, I've never suffered an addiction, but I, have, I know people who have. And if you suffer from an addiction or you suffer with an addiction, any motivation, whatever the drive is for you to gain recovery, uh, I support it as long as it's not illegal. Um, some may quarrel with the motivation. Um, and, and some may quarrel that he shouldn't be using this, that the fight, that the plight of democracy is mm -hmm. dependent upon him staying sober. But whatever it is, it appears to be working. He appears to be staying away from drugs and alcohol. And I hope he's able to repair the fissures in his family. I hope he's able to bring them all back together. Uh, and at the end of the day, um, I wish him nothing but the best. And if it takes him saying the, the plight of democracy will help, is what I need to do to help stay clean, God bless him. Got I it. wish him the best. Did they ever figure out whose cocaine it was in the White House on that plastic bag? Mm -mm. I hope it wasn't his. And they never answer your questions. I don't think so. All right. Judge is skeptical. All right. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.